Hello there and welcome back to Sable. Now last time we explored some of the northern part of the Badlands, found a floating, not floating village, a village on top of the peaks, the spires. That was quite cool, I enjoyed that area. And found a the guard from Ecria, the retired guard, we found her at the bridge. Now there's a puzzle at the bridge which I don't quite know how to do. I may check that out later on. However, this episode, I think we're going to check out the big sh like spaceship wreckage. We're going to check that out and see what's going on in there. And then maybe have an explore of trying to find some other wreckages on the, around the map. Because I know I've got a quest to get some AI messages from other... I think this guy got six six in total. So we're going to be having a look at that one today. We're going to do some further reach and exploration. So, nice chill episode. Chill game. You know, come hang out. Grab some snacks. Let's dive straight back in. Enjoy, guys. Enjoy. Oh, we made it back to Ecri, didn't we? Uh, oh, we've got a new outfit as well. Oh, damn. Right, uh, let's check them out first. Oh, we could play hide, cool, could play hide and seek. Let's do that one. Just check that one out. We'll do hide and seek later because I hate hide and seek, especially in video games. Right, historical reconnection. I actually do fairs. I was looking at the map. Right, so we're going to head south. Down here to the whale. That's where we're going. We might stop off. Actually, let's stop off at that first. We'll head across to that and then down to that. Sound like a plan? Let's let's do that. Let's do that. Right. I don't know where the moon is. She on the other side. Oh, okay. So you're just going to come straight through the market. All right, Samoon, so, so what are you doing? Oi, oi, oi. Calm down, right? Wait, did I buy a part? Did I buy a... Bike part. Oh, I thought for a second we we're going to have new wings. I need to get. I want to replace the wings. However, uh, right. So let's head out. Yeah, I kind of want to get rid of the wings, but I need something cool to replace it with. We are going to check out this wreckage over here. The soul of Samoon remains. Keep an eye out for whatever it is. Get the feeling it's not going to be up here. Oh. 
it? Is that it? That's gotta be it. Well, that's another bit of wreckage. I don't know how I'm getting up there, but I don't know how we're getting inside, but we're getting inside. That's the plan. Let's do a drive by. I suppose we can get up that side. All right. Okay, Simoon. Hang out here for a bit. Just hang out for a bit. Oh, I'm gonna go up that. That seems easy to climb. Go for our summer clothes. <laughs> we're, not in the, we're not in the cool desert yet. Excuse the camera. I don't know why it does that, it noises. Oh, we have a chum. I see a little chum. Hello, chum. Nice, 22. Do another win. Oh, Balfron connection. This has to be the way in. Hopefully there's nothing creepy in here. I don't think there's anything creepy, to be fair. Uh, any goodies at the back? No. The music's a little bit creepy. Oh. Okay, so we're definitely going through there. We're not going to get crushed. Is that a good thing? Can I get up there? Oh. Yes, we can. We're not going up the side. Going up here. Some more treasure. Let's grab this chum while we're here. Because why not? We need all the chums we can get for the evil queen to take over the empire. So now we can go, I was going to say go down this left side because we've got treasure. No, don't climb on. No, can't. We can't. We're climbing in, not up. I was wondering why the mask changed. I could have sworn I changed it. Did Did that change me mask? Put the Bexy one back on. That's the one I had on. Ah. Back into the wreckage. These are like really weird like Creepy. They feel really creepy, but they're not creepy. Like, there's no reason for them to be creepy. It just feels like I shouldn't be in here. Oh, we've got a jump pad. We have a jump pad? What? Ooh. More scrap metal. 
Designed in London. Hey! I'll know London. So, we're definitely using that jump pad to get up somewhere. Actually, what's up this ladder? Let's climb this ladder first. See what try. I think this might be a locked door. Yes, it is. That's our end goal, I think. We've got to get in there, so we've got to find another power pack. We have scrap. The gravity is quite low. My question is, how the heck are we going to get that across? Because I know I can glide across. I don't know how far we can throw it. Also, oh, can I throw it in the air? Well, we can't throw it very far. But we can use... this jump pad. Oh, okay. Okay. Ow. Alright. That kind of worked. We're just going to roll with it. Not what I had planned, but okay. No, climb down. Okay. Oh, I think I got it. I think I got it. There's another one up here. Oh, there's something up here. Oh yeah, 20 things. Is that all that's in here? Never mind. I guess that was just treasure. So now we need to get this. Across to this side, I think it's going to be the easier option. Down you go. There we go. So now we can flip across here and hope this doesn't land somewhere awkward. No, we got it. We got it. Nice. So let's chuck that in here. Should then open this. Oh, hello. You would be one of the AI things I need. Nice. Is there any more loot before I talk to him? Oh, there is. A little bit of loot. Okay, let's chat to this guy. I say hello to Siren. You have unread messages, Sable. Uh, unread messages. Here are your unread messages. Recording two. Another terminal blinks to life. The same language I've been, I've seen flashes across the screen before. Captain Singh. Yes, Sarah. I've detected a potential pattern in the planetary anomaly. There's something strange about it. It should iterate into a chaotic system. But there seems to be a consistently repeating pattern. What does that mean? It appears that there is something sustaining it, Captain. 
We are unable to determine it, the source of this perpetual... It ends here. I pushed a few more buttons, but I can't bring the recording back. No unread messages. Okay. So we've got two... There's definitely something going on in the ship. I think this might be everything in here. We need to find some more of these AIs. That's what we need. Oh, scrap metal. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Right, so let's get the heck out of this ship. Because I think that's everything that we have. Scrap. Me as well. Right, so let's get out here. Hey. That freaked me out there. Right. There we go. There we go. We're out. Kind of. There we go. There we are. Right. So I get the feeling we're going to go and check it out, but I get the feeling that. The large one. I get the feeling that this is the end game. This is the end, not end game, but the end of this quest. We're going to go and check the whale out. And then I'm going to swing south into this area. Explore, get through this area, find some, a wreckage in here. And we've got these two to check out and then swing by into this one. And then maybe up into here. Sound like a plan? I think it sounds like a plan. Right. So Moon, where are you? Where did I leave you? Oh, there you are. There you are. I see you. I'll see you, my dear. Right. Which way we're going? It would help if I marked where I was going, wouldn't it? Let's go on foot. Right. So we're heading that way. Mid afternoon. Oh, ne oh, sorry, nearly night time. 1900 hours, 7 o'clock at night. So we're going to cut through these mountains. We're going to head back to the, the large one. We're going to check the large ship out. Jesus. That ship is massive. That wreckage is absolutely massive. Well, I can definitely get inside because I see that giant hole on the side of the ship. I don't know if I can get some moon inside. Right, I'm gonna leave her here. Some moon, wait here. Uh, why can't I climb it? I'd very much like to climb this. 
Really? Okay. Let's go this way. This is a big ass hangar. I'm conscious about bringing Samoon in here because I don't know whether I'll be able to get her back out. And I don't know if there's a way to like reset. But it'd be rather fucking huge. These are little ships inside this big ship. Okay. Okay, so we've got power. We have a button. What does this button do? What do you do? Let's just push random buttons. Ooh. I see something moving on the right hand side. That sure looks like it's opening. It looked like it was. I don't think it is, you know. Oh, so it's red now. So it is opening the sh I think it was opening the shutter. I may need some moon to get across here quickly. Okay. Let's check this out this side out. Well that's definitely a way out out. Could maybe bring Samoon in that way. Or up or in here. Or well, if she's in that one she can't get up here. It's creepy. We've got around here. Do we have any goodies? Oh, hello, chum. Can I chum you from here? Oh, I guess not. Can't climb up there and over, so there's got to be another way in there. I love this thing. Like this ship is so freaking interesting to me. With like way too much going on now. <laughs> Feels like almost too big to explore. Could spend a lot of time in here. There's a chum over there and looks like there's a vent as well. And that looks like glass. Ooh, we have a door. A door with power as well. Okay. You know, I jumped off there without even finding out if there was actually any... Uh, any way back up. Oh, hello. That is a bike. That looks like a cool bike. I like the look of that. If I do this quest, will I get the, that bike? Let's talk to Saren. I encounter a strange luminous figure. It greets me before I even have a chance to be frightened. New user found. Hello, please enter your, your new username. I found myself whispering in my own name. It suddenly feels odd in my mouth. Like this is the first time I've said it out loud. Okay. I thought we'd already done this, but in a different ship. Welcome, Sable. I set up a new account for you. I asked a mysterious figure about themselves. I am this ship's simulated anthropomorphic registry and information nexus. You can call me Saren. 
I excel on what they're doing here. I'm not entirely sure it's able. Most of my data modules appear to be corrupted. I'm attempting access to ship records. Seven go still for a moment. Transferring ship's log to your inbox. No unread messages. Here are your archive messages. Okay, so it did it did register that okay. I'm glad about that. I'm glad it didn't reset the quest. Uh goodbye. Right. So the six so there is six. We've found two of them. So we've got to find all six and then come back here. Looks like it's a, an outfit in there as well. I do kind of like the bike more than the outfit, but let's, you know, let's do it anyway. Right. Oh, hello, chum. I'll grab you before we leave. Let's get out of here. Do we have treasure over there? There is treasure over there. Thank you. We'll have to stop off and uh, get rid of some of this sometime soon, I think. We've got quite a bit now. Right. So, plan of action. I'm going to head across to this other side. I'm going to check out this broken shuttle where the chum was. Because we need the chum anyway. And we might as well check that little cubby hole out. Then I'm going to try and get some moon in here. We're going to hit the, the switch at the end of this cable. And then once we've done that. I'm going to jump on. Samoon, and we're going to ride our ass from across to there, through here, and through that shutter. No idea how that's going to help us, but we're going to try it anyway, because why not? Why not? Well, we're in. I don't know how long this lasts for. Time to go, time to go, time to go, time to go. Oh, shit, it's coming down. Well, if it was just for a chum, then we're alright. We've got a chum, we'll get him first. I don't know why I came in here. If it was, uh, I'm hoping it's not just for a chum, but we need them anyway, so we might be all right. Definitely got something. I think that's the button to get out. What's the ladder? There we go. There's got to be a loot chest in here. Awesome treasure. Kind of hoping for more than just a chung or a bit of scrap metal. Oh, 20. Yep, 20 cuts. Lovely. Oh shit, okay. We're gonna have to go back up because <laughs> I got greedy and I wanted that bit of scrap metal. Okay, 
Time to go. Right, so push the button straight down. Straight on the smooth. Let's get the heck out of here. Right. So we're going to leave this here or we'll explore this. I don't think there's anything else to explore. So we're going to come out here and we're going to head south. And we're going to swing down through this area. And then head into these two and then across the other area that we haven't unlocked. I'm happy with that plan. Let's head. We're heading north now. So we're going to swing around and we're going to go down the outside of the ship straight south. That's it's just the sheer scale of that ship is like freaking amazing. Oh, there's the bridge as well. That's the bridge we were on the last episode on the left. Oh. There's some wreckage. Definitely going to go into that because we need to be in there. I just kind of want to, I kind of want the map to this area first. Let's head in. Okay, shit. Can't see any balloons. So let's head back to the ship, or head into the ship. Whoa. Okay. Time to head in. Find the AI. Get their message. Unlock their memory core. You know, that kind of deal. Oh, hello, chum. I don't mind if I do. I don't mind if I do. A green door. Scrap. that out first. Scrap. I'm going to check out the green door first. I don't think it's what, going to be what we need. It don't, it's not going to be the AI, but there might be something cool in there. Shadow of Neve. That doesn't sound ominous at all. Okay, so we need to do something here. Because if I stand on that, will I get catapulted that way? Okay, yes I will. I 
Right, so that's one down. Go, 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 go. Catapult me. There we go. Get in here, get the artifact. Get what we need. Scrap metal. There we go. Don't think there's anything else in here. Hello, Saren. Sable, your security clearance has been updated. Please proceed to the whale to authenticate. You have unread, unread messages, Sable. Unread messages. Here are your unread messages. Recording three. Come on, Sing, you know what we're up against. We purge our engines out here, we've got nothing for the terraformers. We need to land now. From it, Deacon. Wow. Look, every day the radiation's getting worse. I can't keep selling this BS to the crew. I know, I'm not landing on that planet either. We're not landing anywhere until we know more about these atmospheric anomalies. There may be life signs on the surface, but that doesn't mean that they're hospitable. But we do need this stuff off the ship, Deacon. Mission be damned. That planet is the whole reason we're here. If we don't get those terraformers up and functional, then we came out here for nothing. How is that going to look? If we go back without completing our objective, you can forget a promotion. You'll be sent to some outworld rock to monitor a relay station, Captain. There's a bit of tense silence after the emphasis on Captain, and I feel as though I'm listening to something I shouldn't. The one called Sing speaks again. Okay, just... Once we get within range of the planet, we give Severn two more days to figure out what's causing the disturbance. I don't want to fly through it if you don't know what it is, but we may not have a choice. Hello, boy, Sing. I knew you'd make the right call. Now come on, sit down and have a drink with me. Get the hell out of my room, Deacon. There's some silence, some shuffling and a faint hiss of air. Then it's just the lonely voice of the captain again. I wonder how long ago all this was. Saren, override privacy protocol on finance officer Deacon. I want you to keep me an eye on him. Yes, Captain. And then nothing. No unread messages. Okay. So they're right in the middle of... I think they're coming past this planet or coming up to this planet. There's some anomalies. They've got a radiation issue. They need rid of some cargo. Or fuel cores or something. That's really fucking interesting. Right. So how the heck do I want to get up there? Also, how do I get up there? <laughs> how do I catapult myself up? Get onto that thing to catapult up onto it. Hold on, actually, I can get up there. Oh, okay. I think I get it. Let's get up here. If I get this power core, do you know, I think we're done here anyway, but I'm going to get this one on the left. I can take this one because we've been in the room. We've got what we actually need here. I can shove that there. Now I can go out then up can head up back to the platform that we're on up like before now that we're here it leads us up to this one now I can jump across. Glide across there. Straight on that. 
straight up. I'm glad I hit that button quick. I thought I missed it. So that door's locked. Can I clip? No. Didn't know if I could clip the camera through there. However, we do have a ladder. What might be up here, I reckon? top of the ship we'd be well on top of the ship right uh, I don't quite know what that good that does us I mean we've got some height advantage so we can see check for map for a map guy cartographer sorry I keep on calling a map guy So I legit don't know what that has done for us. Let's have a look at the map. Get rid of that. So let's head west, east. I don't know any directions. Let's head that way. And find, got to find Saren's terminal in the middle of the wave as the wheel as well. I legit don't know if I have fall damage. I don't know if I could have made that jump down there. It feels... Whoa! It feels counterintuitive to just, like, let it go. Just, you know, just drop. I think we're getting close. Oh, there we go. That's one we want. That's what we want. Oh, don't crash. I'm glad I can't destroy the ship. I can't destroy the moon. And do irreparable damage to her. Oh. Okay, so there's two bits. I'm going to check that one out after this one I think this is the one that we need I'm not sure whether the other one is one that we don't need I just need to work out how the heck I'm getting it in got something on the front maybe underneath might be a hole in the bottom where it hit the ground Oh, hello, chum. Yet another chum egg. I shall, that'll do me nicely. Well, there's nothing on there. It's got to be underneath. Because I can't see any holes in the side. Yet another chop. Don't mind if I do. Don't know if I've got enough to get another upgrade. Right, so there's nothing on the bottom. We need a way to find a way into this ruddy ship through the engine. Yep, 
There we go. Rowley's way. Metal. I'll take that any day of the week. Right. So we've got a power cell that we can move. I don't know what it's currently doing. We do have another one. Another two cells. Three holes. So when you get one power cell up to the top to open the door, we'll have three on the go at any one time. that now as a block to stop the this cell going over the edge see brain power a little bit of brain power so now we can get this up here So don't you dare bounce off. Right, so now I can put this down here and use this one. In here. Which will power that one there because I can use this ladder to get up to this bouncy platform and use that bouncy platform to catapult me and my power cell across to the other side. Logic puzzles. These don't miss. So now I can shove you in there Straight in. Haha, <laughs> job done. Another one bites the dust. And I'm actually trying to work out how many that how many is that now? Another scrap. I say hello, sir. Sable, your security clearance has been updated. Please proceed to the wheel to authenticate. You have unread unread messages, Sable. Unread. Here are your unread messages. Recording force. We've got another two to get. Saren appears before my eyes. For a moment, I think I see some text I do recognise, but it's gone just as quickly. Catastrophic failure in reactors, one through five. Auxiliary power is still on, but navigation systems are failing. Captain, we are going down. We need you to do something now. Divert auxiliary power to the landers and tell the other ships to do the same. I don't think we're getting our reactors back anytime soon. But don't stop trying. Give it whatever you got. Sir, reactor systems have been unresponsive since it seems to be a fleet, not just a single ship. Reactor systems have been unresponsive since we entered the atmosphere. Whatever it is, it's creating quite a lot of interference. Correct. The energy signature has changed, Captain. It's gone quiet. It appears as though it may be responding to our presence. Not now, Saren. Plot me a course to land somewhere safely. That's priority one. We can figure out the rest when we're landed. Navigation functioning offline, Captain. Would you like me to? No, I'll do it myself. The recording ends there. I feel a little twist in my stomach for people I've never met and whom I know are long gone. How strange to worry for the lads of the dead. No unread messages. Okay. 
Four down, two to go. Let's get the heck out of here then. Right. So let's head further east. Into the next unknown zone. So when you hang a right. And then a left around this corner here. Ow. Ouchie. Oh shit, okay. I was expecting to have problems finding the other thing. Now I wonder if the... Uh Five plus the I wonder is is the five plus the the whale or is it something in time to is there another one I've gotta find? Doing so well as well. Okay, so we have four panels, one power cell. Where might the other power cell be? Up there, maybe. That needs like a whole load of nowhere, because that's not a power cell up there. Spins. Okay. Curious. So I can have that one there. So I can turn this one. That one's all right where it is. That means I can turn this one. Okay. Maybe get away with that. We can run and jump onto that. Climb onto that one. Get up, up there. Across there onto that. So let's power this one on. I don't think this is the right way. I think it may be wasting my time. I think this is just for treasure. I think it's definitely just for treasure, this particular bit that I've just done. But we may as well.
So I can get up here. Maybe get a better look. So now we've got a better vantage point. Let us find out what the heck we need to be doing. Okay, so if I... I think I get it. If I set this one away spinning... What I can attempt to is I can jump onto that one there, jump onto this as it's coming up, turn around and when it gets high enough, jump onto that and straight through the door. That was surprisingly easy. In theory, that is surprisingly easy. I don't know if it's going to work. I'm, I probably will. It's not going too fast, so I can like jump onto this now and then wait until it gets here and completely miss. Just completely miss. The theory is print the theory is sound in principle. The, the theory is sound. I was gonna say that the theory is sound in principle, but it, the theory is sound, it works. I just need to, you know not fuck up. There we go. See? First try. First try. Center of Brunswick. Hold on there, Saren. We need try we need to sort of scrap metal out. I say hello to Saren. Sable, your security clearance has been updated. Please proceed to the wheel to authenticate. You have unread messages. Here are your unread messages. Recording five. I found myself tapping my foot in anticipation as I start up the workstation. Our long range communication are still being disrupted by the perpetual. Officer Ellis wishes to return to her attention to shielding the reactors from its interference. Permission? Granted. Saren, I want you to stick with the comms array and see if you can't squeeze something out without being bounced back. Yes, Captain. Well, we might as well get the terraformers up and running then, right? Deacon, if you don't shut up about the terraformers, you let it hang in the air it goes on before we can finish what I can only assume will be a very pointed threat. If you hadn't been running your mouth, we'd still be in orbit negotiating a landing with this godforsaken planet. We can't even breathe the air out there. Then, all the more reason to start terraforming now. What's your point, Captain? Deacon, listen to me. We can't. That landing was hell on those things. Their rad shielding is beyond repair right now. If we run these things, they will pump radiation into the atmosphere for a hundred years. That's Earth years, not an option for us, Deacon. Then maybe we don't do it for us. The recording goes silent. No one read messages. Okay. Do you think the sacrifice themselves set the terraformers away? and then sacrifice themselves for the future of mankind. Shit, that's quite freaking deep. So there's gotta be maybe one in the north, like the far north. There we go. Hello, old chum. Hello, old chum. Right. 
so let's have a quick explore. Let's see if I can find the map maker. We're gonna head north. Open that thing is not alive. Right guys, so we made it all the way up back up to the north, the very top corner of the map. We're heading into or heading towards the last zone that we haven't unlocked yet. Or that we haven't explored yet. We need to find this last ship and then we need to head back to the wheel, put everything in and hopefully see if we can get some goodies. I should finish off this quest. Well, uh, I have just been exploring the zones just for the... for the ships. Oh, there's the last one. There he is, eh? I have been exploring just for the ships and the... Is that what? It's not. Okay. Yeah, I haven't done like a full deep explore of each of the zones. I've had a quick look for the or scout for the wreckages and the cartographers. The one of the zones, the last zone I was in, found the cartographer but I couldn't find a way up. So we're going to have to probably, I'll probably try and find a way up that one at a later date. This definitely seems to be a ship for a graveyard. I don't know what they are in the sky. I don't know whether they're nice or nasty. Okay. Let's explore this one. Scrap metal. I shall take some scrap metal. Oh, hello, chum. We need to take a stop off at, uh, at the Queen as well. I think I've got enough for an upgrade. And we'll need to stop off at a scrap dealer. Get rid of all this scrap. I've got to have well over 100 by now. It's like just a maze or or do we actually have a puzzle? Scavenger hunt. puzzle room. Knew it. Right, so let's see what we've got. Platform that moves. Wait, anything that... Wait, can I... Can I get back up there? Where am I stuck? Can I climb up that? Um, hello? Oh no, there we go. Jesus. I thought I was freaking stuck in there for like forever. That was terrifying. <laughs> right, so that's the door we need to get in. We've got one power supply over there for this left side. Also for the right side. 
I think I need to get a one across to the other side. What does this red, what does the button do? Okay, that's a shortcut back. Okay. That's a shortcut out. We don't need that one right now. Right, so let's head up here. See if we can get a bird's eye view. Well, that's, that's working at least. Power supply up there. Put that there. And this one further down. Maybe. Let's put that there. Okay, so I can climb up that. Okay. I got it. I think I got it. Now I can jump onto this and climb up there. No, don't climb up in the pipe. Glide across. Hopefully climb. Yay! That's, that's the right one done. So now we can climb down, head back across. Get back up here. Back on to here. Climb up. Glide across to here. Glad across to here. I think I might need to keep this one moving. So I'm not sure I can glide all the way across to that. I think I can. Actually, yeah, I can. Okay. I thought for a second that I needed to have that one on the left moving so I could just like take it for a free ride and that's number six got metal please any none okay I say hello to Sarah Sable your security clearance has been updated please proceed to the whale to authenticate you have unread messages, Sable. Last for unread message. Here are your unread messages. Recording six. The text on screen remains a mystery, but this time I barely look at it. If it's lost to me, then so be it. I want to hear more. This time, Captain Singh sounds different. Older. Up and running for 15 local years. I think that's about 20 in Earth time. Radiation levels are approaching critical and only rising. Between that and the lack of breathable air, even now children's children will need protective gear to do so much as walk between ships. Deacon, finally gave up the ghost last week. Age, nothing more, just time. We've been lucky that way, I think. Guy never gave up on a corporate rescue mission. I'll give him that. It's stupid. Even if they were floating around up there, they have no way of getting down here, at least as far as we know. That stuff in the atmosphere. Who knows? Singh pauses for a moment and sighs to himself. Saren, I'll be shutting down your primary functions in order to preserve power. You'll be booted up once every few years to try and send some long-range comms. But that's a job I leave to future generations. But this way, you'll have enough power to sustain yourself for a few hundred spins around this star. Hell, maybe more if anyone can figure you out. There's a break. I think it's over, but... I'm sorry if things end up this way. I'd hope for better for us than to be stranded on a planet that wants to kill us. 
who won't let us leave. Maybe you'll be able to make sense of this one day, but if anyone asks, in what other century tell them I tried my best. Now I need to go take care of my people. For what it's worth, sir, I quite like the masks. Thing laughs and it's sad. It's sad but sweet. Thank you, Saren. Thank you for being here. Goodbye. The recording shuts off abruptly, leaving me wondering. I take a minute to collect my thoughts and I say goodbye too. No one read messages. Okay. That's quite freaking cool. So... Terraformers from another planet ended up crash landing on this planet. Decided to terraform it. Start terraforming the planet even though it would end up killing them first because of the radiation. I think the radiation died down. Not breathable air, but died down enough for civilization like the crew's bits and pieces like the remnants of the crew they all ended up becoming the tribes that we see now so these are like things of our ancestor that's quite fucking cool I think we're going to get it confirmed at the, at the wheel right Let's head back to the wheel. I think that's all of them. Six. There were six lights, and I think we found six wrecks. Let's head back to the wheel and see what we, what goodies we get. Wait, what? Still got a red one. Shit. Are you the last? Please tell me you're the last. I say hello to Sarah. It would seem you've been busy, Sable. Sarah does her best representation of being impressed. You've recovered all available data modules. Thank God for that. I thought I'd miss one there for a second. Thank you for your assistance. I'm upgrading your security clearance. Granting first level access now. Nice. We've got a suit. Upgrading access level. And we'll have a bike. I can scarcely believe my luck. I ask Saren if they're really for me. You may do what you wish with them, Sable. I see no need to preserve them any longer. Thanks, I thank Saren for everything. I say farewell to Saren. That was a monster quest, that one. That was a really monster quest that took forever. That was a long quest. I like it. Whale ship bike wing. Wheel ship bike front. Wheel ship bike engine. Thank you very much. We'll have a new bike. A bike frame. Or bike shell. Let's go get our outfit. I think it might be like a space suit. Wheel ship mask. The Vazarus mask gives a clarity and visibility I'm not used to with other masks. The air tears cleaner whilst wearing it. It's a dang spacesuit. Wheel ship trousers. So lightweight and form fitting that doesn't feel much more than extra layer of skin. Whatever it's made of is unclear to me. A wheel ship top. Made from an unrecognizable material, wearing it seems to keep me at consistently comfortable temperature. Well shit, let's put our new tools on. Space suit. Hey, that's cool. That'll be our space spaceship. Still a red flashing one though. Okay. Let's head back. I'm gonna head back out. I'm going to head back to town. Customise me bike. We may as well use the whale ship. Since we've spent so long using it. So long getting it, I should say. Right. So 
So we're headed back to Burnt Oak Station. We're going to hand in our scrap. Then we're going to customise some more in, in our new parts. Dress her up for the part. I mean, she does look cool as she is. I'm kind of interested in the uh, Star Wars style speeder bike from the looks of it. Plus, I spent a long time getting getting everything. Alton barely looks up at me. Better have something for me, Glider. And it sells scrap metal. Fetch everything I found from handing it over piece by piece. Hand over all my scrap, and Alton managed to look surprised with only the smallest shift of his shoulders. You got all that? I know it. Trying to fast track, fast track things, eh, Glider? Very glad of you, but I can't say I might. Alton digs around his pockets and produces. Alton digs. Sorry, the music went really loud there. Digs around his pockets, and produces a few scraps of metal, some lint, and three scrapper batches. He slides my way across his desk. That that what you came for then? I told him I came to give him scrap. That this is rather a nice little bonus. Like the attitude. Scraps are real work. Badges are what's the word? Nice to have. Useless on their own at least, but just like scrap, you can melt them down into something decent. A mask. You make a pretty good scrap as apprentice, you know. If you can find someone willing to take you on. He laughs. I'm kidding. You're good. I'd be happy to have you on my team someday. Take the final badge from Alton and thank him very earnestly. Just why, which I think he really hates. Well, don't get all weepy about it. It's not some big moment, and I'll still be here if you've got scrap to sell. See you around, Sable. I say goodbye to Alton. Right. So, scrap metal dealt with. I've got myself a canny wedge of ca caps there. So, it cuts. I will insist the caps. Then let's go dress you up. See what you look like. See what your hand are like. Utari greets me warmly. How may I help? Uh, I'd like to customise my bike, please. Ooh, what colour do I want? Sand colour? Go with the top one. Oh shit. Max speed. Dang. Acceleration's low, but max speed is damn high. Okay, that's fucking cool. Okay. Okay, I like this ship. I like it, I like it. Hey! <laughs> How fucking cool does that look? Nice. Gonna have some fun with that one. Samoon, you got a lovely new new coat of paint. I love it. I love it. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm I'm glad I put all that work in. Right guys, on that note. We are going to leave that here for this week. I'm still very charmed by this game. I don't really, I don't think there's a, like a major story to it. I think we are just running errands and doing, just exploring and doing cool shit. So I'm not entirely sure how long the series are going to last for. I'm assuming there's an ending. I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to have to, I'll probably look it up to see if there actually is an ending or if it's just 
play as long as you want. But still intrigued by it. Still love the exp exploration part. I think next time we're going to be... We're going to have a look at the quest log. We're going to do some side, some of the, more of the quests. Maybe head off to a different zone and check in with a the settlement there. And pick up some quests over that way. Mix it up a little bit. Head to a different zone. So, thank you all for watching. Hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, let me know in the comments section below. If you're new here, feel free to come hang out. Come check out some other stuff we've got going on. We would love to have you here. If you're not new here, welcome back. Thank you again for all the support. It is much appreciated. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. And you all know what's coming. Please like, share, comment, subscribe and all that jazz. And as always... We shall see us on the flip side. Bye-bye.